Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Late last night, early this morning, depending on what time zone you're in, there was another X-class solar flare. This one at X1.1. It came from uh, the uh, sunspot area of 4298, and it lasted about 15 minutes. That's it right there. Just going over towards the uh, western side of the, the uh, sun's disk. The number 1.1 means it was 11 times stronger than a magnitude or X-flare 1.0. X-flares denote the strongest of the classification of the solar flares. Prior to this solar flare, within the last 24-hour period, there was a magnitude 2.4 solar flare. Stick with me, I'm going to jump into more details about this. Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Monday, December 8th, 2025. I want to give a shout out to Susan who sent me a PayPal donation. Thank you very much, Susan. God bless you. Yeah, I appreciate your support. I humbly ask that people subscribe, like, and share my videos. More about this X flare. Here you can see the recent 1.1 X solar flare. And over here we have the recent uh, 2. Point, uh, well, now they say it was a 2. Point, looks like 5. I think it was a 2.4. Here I have an image of the sun during that time of the solar flare. Yeah, it could cause um, an R3 radio blackout, which would affect aviation, uh, communication, it might have power fluctuations, but it might not be actually Earth-directed, being off on the east, um, western side of the solar disk. Yeah, it, um, it doesn't really show that much here on the disk. Let me pause this for a minute. They don't have complete frames of the eruption. It started at um, 449, which you can see here is 448, and ended at 501. I'll go forward frame by frame. There's 500, and then we got 512. You can see we got some frames missing here. See that? There it is. Okay, and I'll hit play again for you. This X flare may have been 11 times stronger than the X1 flare, but it's actually a thousand times stronger than an M class flare, just showing the energy. Um, we don't know if it's going to be impacting the Earth. They suggest that it possibly couldn't be. Well, you know, lately with the weakening of our Earth's magnetic field, we're seeing more and more effects from the sun upon the Earth, even though it might be um, completely Earth-directed. Here we have the uh, Solar Wind Prediction Center. And you can see the solar flare right here. The little green dot, that is the Earth. And I'll push play. And it does show a full impact on this one here. But we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, it goes through. Let me play it through once more for you guys so you can see it. And I'll check the, uh, there we go. Check the KP index here in a minute. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Look at that. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, the Solar Wind Prediction Center. It's, that's exactly what it is, is a prediction center. But they're saying it's not going to be impacting the Earth. Here you can see the culprit, the active region of 4298. It's one of the uh, several complex sunspot groups that have crowded the uh, sun, sun's face in recent days. Now these regions are what they call a magnetic knot where field lines become twisted like a rubber band. Well, when they finally snap and reconnect, the stored energy is converted into heat, light, and charged particles 
in a process scientists call magnetic reconnection. So far, the images from um, SOHO and Stereo A spacecraft show no obvious Earth-directed uh, coronal mass ejection CMEs tied to this uh, particular flare. And that's good news for the uh, power grids and satellite operations. An impulse flare like this one uh, tends to release its fury, mostly as radiation rather than hurling billions of tons of solar plasma our way. Still, the region does remain uh, magnetically charged, which means it still has the ability to produce more X-class flares. This event is bittersweet for aurora hunters. It means we probably will not have a chance of northern lights aurora borealises. But I'll keep an eye on what's going on with the sun. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate, Susan, your support. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all.